For today's cup of coffee, I would like to uh, share with you a uh, channel that I recently found and have really, really enjoyed, and I think that you might like this also. Uh, it's called Mysterious Middle East, and uh, if you're one of the people that likes Art Bell, I've been on Art Bell kick again for quite a while now. Uh, if you like uh, ancient aliens, anything that's like that, I think you would really enjoy this. Uh, these, they have like other puzzle pieces uh, because I have known a lot of the, of course, the Christian uh, take on like demons and stuff like that. I knew the uh, Hebrew takes on these things. But to uh, incorporate the Islamic uh, understandings of these beings and stuff, that's, that's fascinating because a lot of us we don't believe that aliens are from other planets as much as we believe that they're from different dimensions. And we know these things as, uh, well, forces of darkness. We call them, we lump them under demons the same way that we lump angels. <laughs> you know, lump all the heavenly hosts under angels. And there's uh, lots of different job titles. But anyhow, uh, these folks believe that uh, the phenomenon of aliens is a matter of them being jinn. And the jinn are beings from another dimension. So, uh, yeah, just lots of different things. Lots of information about Nephilim, uh, different things like that. Nephilim were the product of when the fallen angels or watchers had uh, done things that they shouldn't have done with the women's of the earth. And they produced these hybrid uh, beings that very well could have been uh, the titans of the past, also the Greek gods and stuff like that. So lots of things to ponder with as the uh, winter just keeps going on. Anyhow, you can see some of the uh, titles that they've got on here. Beautiful production value. And some of the folks that do the narration, absolutely some of the most beautiful voices that you will ever hear. So, all kinds of good stuff there. And this uh, leads me to share with you someone else that I have been familiar with. This gentleman is one of my favorite peoples on the planet right now. And this is uh, one of his channels. It's called Fringe Pop 321. And this is Dr. Michael Heiser. Now, Michael Heiser has the ability to read some of these ancient languages to put them in context of the culture. Uh, you know, when these things were written, and just, you know, he is a scholar. He writes in a scholarly way, so some of it you sort of have to listen kind of close or not. I don't know. It depends on how much time that you want to put into that. Uh, but he has lots of different videos on this, everything from the Ark of the Covenant, false prophets, um, we've got werewolves, zombies, vampires, you know, he will go where other people in the uh, Christian community don't dare go. He also has a lot of information as far as the Gnostic Gospels. Uh, this would include like the Gospel of Thomas and of Mary Magdalene and of Judas and different things like that. And he gives you the hard evidence of why these things are not to be considered um, as, that he doesn't say you can't read them, but as far as them being inspired word of God, no, because a lot of these things were, were corrupted. Uh, as far as the text and stuff was corrupted. A lot of this was myth and legend that uh, was not to be included in canon. Uh, there's debate as far as the book of Enoch. He does talk about that quite often. Um, there's also the Apocrypha. I will not go into deep dark. This is what I do with my time, folks. I sit and I read. But anyhow, so you can sit and, and edify yourself and have some fun. Uh, like I said, Heiser is a hoot. He really is. But these folks over at uh, Mysterious Middle East, I have only wonderful things to say about this channel. I have thoroughly enjoyed it and, uh, you know, thoroughly look forward to new videos. I've got one, uh, I think I saw one. Yeah, there's a new one about uh, Giants and its Pyramid Power. So I'm looking forward to that. I, when I was in seventh grade, I did a science experiment about Pyramid Power because I was one of those kids. 
but you all have a beautiful blessed day